Hi everybody, this is Peter Young from the uh, Ninth Age Forum and uh, in this video I wanted to quickly show you the pre-made army list for the quick starter for the faction of the Warriors of the Dark Gods. Woo! Warriors of the Dark Gods! This is, uh, this is the first faction for which we have uh, an expanded full army book and so we thought that we would uh, start by um, by commenting on this one here for the pre-made list of the quick starter as well. Now, what are the pre-made lists of the quick starter? I'm not going to go into much detail here, but uh, very quickly said, these are the lists that contain all a new player needs to decide whether he or she or it likes the game. So as you see here, we have uh, in, in this document that I put together as a mock-up, as a you know, fun-made kind of thing, not official in any way. You have here a bit of art to get immersed in the, uh, in the faction. You have a bit of lore with text that you know, give you an, an idea and an impression of um, why this faction is fighting at all. And also, in this same page, you have all of the rules that allow you to play the first basic quick starter games with this faction here. And these are broken up in profiles, one uh, table for each unit, and some special rules that are mentioned by, uh, by the profiles. Okay? So now, in the following, we're going to go through, very quickly, we're going to go through these four uh, units here, so that I can show you a bit what kind of uh, models and what kind of warriors you can expect um, to find when you fight with this faction. Now, let's start with the most iconic uh, unit ever for this book, which is the warriors. Um, wasteland warriors. Tough guys, really tough guys. I mean, it, it doesn't show, it shows that they're tough from the profile, if you can read the profile, but let's not focus on the numbers just yet. There is a very large amount of art that's been produced for this faction, and, you know, it's really the case that we share it with you. You have both individual depictions of lone fighters, of lone warriors, but you also have the large uh, full-page images, like this ones here. Which I would dare to say look quite cool. Yeah, I'd say that. All right, so let's go back to our uh, to our rules based um, discussion. Actually, before we go we go there, there's one final thing that I wanted to tell you about. That just as you can download for free the uh, books about the Warriors of the Dark Gods from the Ninth Age website. You can also play this faction for free on Universal Battle 2. And I have uh, drawn some models here. So this would be the, uh, the models that, that I drew for the, for the warriors. You, you'll see them in context in a, in a second. Now, looking at the profile, one of the first things that the profile tells you is how large the base uh, on which you mount the model is and what is the formation. So in this case, five files and two ranks as the one that you have here. You also have other things. Uh, this is just for people who already know the faction. You already have uh, information about some type of equipment. So very high defense and very high armor means that uh, they have an integrated shield, more or less. But this is not important for, for new, new players. Now, this is the, uh, the most iconic factions, uh, the most iconic units in this, in, uh, for this faction, which is the Warriors. Let's have a look at another one. Let's look at the Barbarian Horsemen. And uh, once again, you have art in the book that gives you an idea of what these guys are supposed to look like. And once again, you have the um, equivalent in Universal Battle if you want to play, play the free games on that platform. Uh, again, you have the information about the files and the ranks and the size of the uh, of the base on which you mount this these units here. And again, you have the the profile, and in the profile you have some options, like for example the extra armor given by the shield. Uh, and in some cases, we do mention some special rules like devastating charge, which is supposed to emulate the fact that they are armed, that the barbarian horsemen are armed with a light lance. Now, if we mention a special rule in the, in the profile, we also mention it in the, um, in the special rule section at the bottom 
uh, left corner of this Orders of the Dark Gods Prime Damilist. And if I zoom in on that, you see that that's the description of what the rule does. First round of combat, after you charged, you receive the bonus in, in brackets. Okay? And of course, since we're using this, um, uh, you know, we're trying to make every, every rule available, even in the Universal Battle Armies, you also have special tokens that um, remind you of the rules. Uh, of the special rules within Universal Battle. All right, so this is for Barbarian Horseman. We still have two more units to talk about. Break. And this will be the Warrior Chariot and the Sorcerer. Let's start with the Warrior Chariot. Art from the book, art from the, uh, from the Universal Battle pre-made free army. And here, apart from the profile, you also see that we have the special rule on uh, impact hits because, you know, it's a chariot. If it rams into you from far away, it's going to do damage. It's going to do a different amount of damage than the one it does in, in the full book, but that's a detail. We have to scale things down for the quick starter. If you, if you want to be really nasty, like, you know, play the full rules. We, we are keeping things simple and balanced at a low level in the, in the quick starter. But then again... If you have the rule uh, mentioned in the profile, then you have it clearly stated in the um, in the uh, in the rest of the pre-made list. And again, you also have uh, icons and tokens that remind you the rules in Universal Battle. That's for the uh, Warrior Chariot, and let's conclude with the nastiest of them all, which is the Sorcerer. This dude, who's the general of the uh, of the army. And, uh, uh, you know, again, you have special models for this guy in Universal Battle. And uh, again, as you see, we have integrated some of the options, like, for example, using paired weapons, extra attack, extra offense value, uh, integrated in the profile. But more importantly, I mean, it's a sorcerer, so it's supposed to have uh, spells. And so you have the, the name of the two spells, and, the, and these are detailed... Uh, like so, with how difficult it is to cast a spell and what's the type of effect that the spell does. So, for example, Molten Copper uh, is a spell that deals damage to enemies, especially to those who are wearing good armor. And the Rot Within um, is a kind of withering uh, and weakening uh, hex spell that makes your uh, opponents weaker. And again, for those, you still have the tokens here. So I guess that this is all I uh, had to say uh, about the uh, about this faction in a very very quick way. Let's 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 keep it short. My invitation is for you to go to the Ninth Age website and download the free rules. Go to the Universal Battle website and use the guest free account and get some games going on because I'm sure that you will like this game. You'll like this game. Alright, that's all for the moment. Bye guys, see you next time.